Hey, fourth grade. Earlier this week, we were introduced to our new region, the Northeast region, and you got a chance to explore some popular tourist destinations in the Northeast. Today, we're going to dive a little deeper, and we're going to look at what resources come from this area of the United States. So our essential question for our lesson today is what resources come from the Northeast, and how do they affect the people living there? Why do people choose to live in the Northeast? The Northeast region of the United States is an area extremely rich in natural resources, which is one reason people decide to live here. Remember, the Northeast is in the Northeast part of the United States, and it's one of five of the U.S. regions. One important resource from the Northeast region is lumber. Lumber is wood or trees that are cut down and prepared to be used for building um, new things such as houses, paper, furniture, and fuel. The Northeast region has lots of forests. About 80% of the Northeast is covered by forest or thick woods, which means that logging is a very important industry there. Logging in Maine, the state that's at the very tip of the Northeast, creates over 23,000 jobs and contributes $1.8 billion to the Maine economy. Logging was started in Maine in the early 1600s when English explorers first cut trees on Monaghan Island. Resource in the Northeast region is maple syrup. Have you ever had pancakes with maple syrup? Well, if you have, a lot of this syrup comes from the Northeast. And Vermont is the state that is known throughout the world for its delicious maple syrup. And it's produced from the sap of the sugar maple tree. Vermont is the biggest U.S. producer of maple syrup with over 1,320,000 gallons during the 2013 season, followed by New York, which is another Northeast state, with 574,000 gallons, and Maine, another Northeast state, with 450,000 gallons. And we use maple syrup for food, right? Native Americans who were living in the Northeast discovered that these sugar maple trees could produce maple syrup, and they use that to sustain them over the long winter months. Another resource that comes from the Northeast is granite. A lot of these resources come from underground, granite, marble, and coal. Granite and marble are used to make buildings, and Vermont has the largest granite quarries in the country. Granite is an important natural resource. It's an igneous rock if you listen to Miss H's lessons. And it's used in everything from flooring tiles and kitchen countertops to buildings and monuments. It's found most notably in New Hampshire, which adopted the nickname the Granite State for that very reason. So these granite quarries create a lot of jobs for people as well. Another resource is cranberries. Cranberry Cranberries were first used by Native Americans who discovered the wild berry's versatility as a food, fabric dye, and a healing agent. Today, cranberries are commercially grown throughout the northern part of the United States and are available in both fresh and processed forms. I absolutely love cranberry sauce. So good. The soil in parts of the northeast region is rocky because there are a lot of mountain ranges in the northeast. And the growing season is pretty short, but some fruits and vegetables are grown in the Northeast. Farmers grow blueberries and potatoes. Other farms produce chickens, milk from dairy cows and flowers, but cranberries are grown in the sandy marshes in the Northeast region. Massachusetts is called the cranberry capital of America because it produces nearly 2 million barrels of cranberries a year. The Northeast region has many rivers and waterfalls. This was very important in the growth of the region because the power produced by the running water made it possible for people to build mills or factories. By using water-driven power, people could run machines and make things much faster than people could at home by hand. Today, factories use other sources of power instead of water power, but the Northeast region continues to be an important manufacturing center in the United States. Iron, glass, steel, and many chemicals such as shampoos, paints, and medicines are manufactured in the Northeast. And they use the running water to help them run their factories. Lake Ontario and Lake Erie form part of the border of the Northeast region. 
Lake Ontario and Lake Erie are two of the five Great Lakes. The Great Lakes are that group of five freshwater lakes located in eastern North America, and we in Minnesota can see Lake Superior in the northern part of Minnesota. And this, they are also located on the border between Canada and the United States because Canada is right above us. The Great Lakes are so large that they can be seen from the moon. They also hold one-fifth of all the fresh water in the entire world. As water flows out of Lake Erie into Lake Ontario, it flows over Niagara Falls. And that picture above is Niagara Falls. It's a 160-foot tall waterfall, the second largest waterfall in the world. And that's right in the Northeast region. On the East Coast, the Atlantic Ocean is an important resource for fish, lobster, and shellfish. Once these shellfish are caught, fish that are in a shell, like lobsters and crabs, they are shipped to food stores and restaurants all over the country. Fish farming is called aquaculture. Fish are raised on farms and are sold for the purpose of eating. This helps protect the populations of fish that are born in a natural environment. So that first picture is of blue crabs, and those are super popular in Maryland. The annual catch of hard crabs from the Chesapeake Bay in Maryland accounts for over 50% of all total fishing in Maryland. And the bottom picture are lobsters that are harvested in Maine. And they are most commonly harvested between late June and late December. All right. Now that we have looked at some resources that come from the Northeast region, you are going to go on to Class Kick. And using what you just learned in this video, you can rewatch it, pause it, take notes. You are going to fill out this Class Kick. I want you to choose three of those resources and explain how they affect the Northeast. How do they affect the people living there? Why are they important? You're going to put one resource here, the second here, and the third here. If you need any help, you can come on to office hours at 1.30.